The dog is about twice the size of a makake, but trying to take food away from it was a big mistake. The dog's fangs and growls did not make any impression on the primate. He rushed into battle, and with him, his relatives. The dog had to run with his tail between his legs. And we will show other cases when monkeys turned out to be much cooler than their rivals thought. The python attacked a group of macaques. The snake counted on the fact that when it was attacking a large crowd of victims, at least one would be able to capture it. The reptile turned out to be right. It is already squeezing the poor animal with its rings, and the python is incredibly strong. To strangle the victim, he does not need to look for the neck. It compresses the entire body of the monkey, gradually literally squeezing the air out of its lungs. In addition, the reptile crushes bones and causes damage to the internal organs of its prey. That's just one thing that didn't go according to plan. A pack of monkeys, instead of running away in panic in different directions, began to surround the enemy. They want to recapture their kinsman and save him. Unexpected devotion to one's own kind, especially when you consider that not the kindest morals reign inside the pack. Fights and food sharing often occur. But an external common enemy is a good reason to unite. The snake did not expect this. She seems discouraged. Makakes from all sides. They are all careful and no hurry to approach, but the reptile does not try to attack another primate because it is not sure that it has finished off the first victim. But the encirclement is shrinking, and the bravest monkeys are trying to get their kinsmen out of the python's rings. The snake has to repel the attack and rush at unexpectedly brave primates. However, the reptile couldn't get anyone else. And although she overpowered the victim and was able to swallow it, the primates gathered around the reptile. It seems that they are grieving for their loss. It is believed that for such primitive monkeys, this is too complicated an emotion. And what do you think about it? Let us know in the comments. If you think this is a unique case, then you're wrong. Even if a python is five to seven times longer than a macaque, it still does not give an unambiguous advantage over such a victim. The monkey will defend itself fiercely, even if the battle takes place on unfavorable terms for it. For example, a case came into the camera lens when a python was trying to catch a macaque in the water. There, the snake has an advantage. The water supports the large weight of the legless animal and significantly increases its maneuverability. But the primate's paws, on the contrary, become constrained due to the density of the water. But the monkey desperately fights back and not only does not allow the snake's jaw to close on its body, but also successfully counterattacks. Without powerful claws and fangs, the makake will not be able to initial inflict fatal damage to such a serious enemy, but it will be able to pet without problems. The snake did not expect such a rebuff. The monkey is incredibly agile. The reptile can rush and bite, but its main weapon is the claws, which it uses to protect and hold its prey while the rest of its body throws its rings. If the primate has moved far enough away from the head and is constantly maneuvering, it has a chance to avoid the throw while continuing to strike and bite the opponent's body. Even if the python manages to defeat one monkey, its relatives in the pack will not allow it to calmly begin to absorb its food. A python can swallow its prey whole, even if it appears to be much larger than its head and neck. Thanks to its movable throat, the snake is able not only to swallow a makake, but also a small deer. But it takes effort. At the time of feeding, the snake is vulnerable because it will not be able to attack an impudent person who will interfere with it in the process. And the python knows this, and the monkeys know that. As a result, the reptile simply cannot start eating, as enemies will immediately pounce on it, wishing, if not to take revenge, then at least to drive away and take out their aggression on the enemy. Yes, the snake coped with the victim, but what good is that? It is unlikely that primates will really chase a python for a long time or guard it, not allowing it to have lunch. But primates will do everything to show that hunting them requires much more strength than a predator will get from such a meal. 
The monkey was having lunch on the shore, and a piece of food fell into the water. The fish noticed this and decided to pick up the food, but it was a mistake. The primate reacted unexpectedly aggressively to this. It would seem that the food had fallen, and the animal did not want to pick it up. That's just how the monkey refused to share with the fish in the most aggressive form. It's hard to say exactly what's going on here. Only one version comes to mind. The monkey is just teasing a whole group of tigers. Big cats are in the water, which makes it difficult for them to move, but they still manage to jump to a great height. However, this does not help. They don't know who they're messing with. This primate can get mad. The monkey seems to be pretending that just a little more and it will fall down, right into the claws of the enemies. Tigers are just waiting for this, but they will not wait since every movement of the primate is calculated. But what is his ultimate goal? Is the monkey just having fun and loves extreme sports? What do you think about it? Two primates decided to have another monkey as a pet. At least that's the impression you get when you see this scene that you're watching now. Two huge gorillas cannot divide a tailed monkey and to literally drag it over. The little primate is in shock. He did not think that he would be divided this way. Moreover, gorillas are quite careful. He doesn't seem to hurt the baby, but it still looks pretty scary, doesn't it? When makakis gather in huge flocks, it gets a little bit uncomfortable, doesn't it? But they are from the most dangerous and powerful monkeys in the world. This python has made the biggest mistake of his life. He attacked the baboons. These primates are gathered in packs, and although each baboon is much inferior to a chimpanzee or gorilla, even one primate of this species is a terrible threat. And by working together, they were able to give battle even to a huge snake the length of a car. This python didn't know who it was messing with. When the baboons recovered from the initial shock, they attacked the snake with incredible fury. Just look how they effortlessly started dragging her along the ground with their prey. The blows of a baboon can easily pierce the scales of a large snake, and fangs are a weapon, the very sight of which will make even a mother lioness uncomfortable. It's even strange how such long teeth fit into the mouth of a primate, and she's not afraid to use them. Being able to open its mouth unexpectedly wide, the baboon will bite again and again, sinking its teeth deep into the target's flesh. There are no smilodons in the modern world, but we have a saber-toothed baboon monkey. But the main thing is her speed and indomitability. The monkey fights with subtly fast movements, grapples, punches, and bites, which it inflicts from different sides. A whole flock of fearless rabid primates unleashed a real hail of blows on the python. The snake won't get out of this mess. Even if she survives and can crawl away, the damage she receives will not allow her to hunt effectively. But most likely, the baboons will not let the reptile go alive. For a long time, makakis in Thailand lived really well. The locals did not drive them away even from the territory of a densely populated city. Large predators did not attack them there, but there was plenty of food. For tourists from Europe or America, a small primate that is not afraid of humans and boldly comes up for a treat is a real curiosity and a pleasant memory. As a result, makakis are used to the fact that a person always has food which does not require ready food to extract. There are also trash cans and open fruit trays. As a result, the makake population has grown to an incredible size. But when, due to the collapse of tourism, there were much fewer travelers, primates in Thailand began not just begging, but stealing food. But if you think this is the end, then you're wrong. The local authorities underestimated the problem. It seems that people simply did not know who they were contacting when they allowed wild animals to settle into the cities next to them. Makakes begin to unite into real clans and armies of several hundred individuals each. They divided the areas of the cities they inhabited and staged not only raids on garbage cans, but also real battles among themselves. 
Interestingly enough, even a huge flock of monkeys usually avoids humans. Although, we would advise you to behave carefully in such places. But still, the clash of two armies of primates for the sake of one rotten banana looks scary and cool at the same time. Of course, these primates don't care about traffic, and they can arrange a massively battle right in the middle of the day at a busy intersection. The cars are stopping. Drivers will definitely not have time to go anywhere now. Well, they can watch a free action movie. The main thing is not to try to interfere and separate both sides. It is unlikely that there is anything left of the food for them in which such fights were arranged. Monkeys swoop into each other and form something like a huge tangle of dozens of constantly fighting primates. Hundreds of paws, fangs, furious eyes, and a scream that makes wild animals in the jungle even more afraid of cities. It even looks a little fantastic, doesn't it? Usually primates do not injure each other too seriously, even as a result of the fiercest battles. But that doesn't mean he's not trying. They just switch from one goal to another too quickly. The monkeys manage to fight each other with a dozen opponents in one fight. At the same time, it seems that they have something like tactics. They attack each other more or less harmoniously, hold the front line, push the weaker group away from advantageous places. But the retreating ones do not just run away in panic, but gradually withdraw and cover each other. As soon as at least one pair of monkeys grapples in a fight, a dozen more from each side will immediately join them. These monkeys are surprisingly loyal to the members of their groups, so support them in battle and immediately respond to any provocation at all. Interestingly enough, the monkeys have learned to hold fortified or high positions well. While one group is holding back the siege, their enemies are attacking. It seems to look quite funny, considering that the height of the fortress wall does not reach the height of your knee. But when there are several dozen primates, and the battle lasts for half an hour or even longer, people do not feel like laughing. The primates who have occupied the height throw the rivals down, give them a stern rebuff, but the advancing army continues its stubborn attack. Meanwhile, the movement around is paralyzed. One can only be glad that this war of street monkeys has affected those primate species that do not know how to use sticks and stones as weapons. But even this melee looks pretty brutal, considering that the size of each makake is less than the length of an adult's arm. But even passing by these angry animals becomes scary, although they usually only collect tribute from people in the form of food into perhaps something shiny. These nimble makakes are pickpocketers. However, who would want to give a makake their new phone? At the same time, several generations of makakes have already grown up, who live in cities in this way. They fiercely defend their lands from wild forest relatives, as if the cities belonged to monkeys. Maybe this protects cities from an even greater influx of primates, but the problem is that makakis accustomed to the city do not know how to survive in the forest. Even though they are hardened in battles with each other, they do not know how to get food on their own. In addition, predators pose a greater threat to them than to wild relatives. It remains to be hoped that animal rights activists, together with the authorities, will figure out how to solve this problem. It was most acute in 2019 at the peak of the tourism crisis. But even now, do not underestimate the street gangs of Thai makakes. And what do you think about this situation? Do you have any ideas on how to solve this problem, or at least prevent it from happening in other similar places in the future? Let us know your opinion in the comments. When the monkey was in shallow water, a crocodile noticed it. A lightning throw, and the primate goes under the water. It seems that the reptile has got lunch, but suddenly the monkey comes up. The crocodile clearly did not expect this. The primate managed to dodge the enemy's jaws in muddy water and even avoid serious damage. 
The baby goes ashore while the reptile is still just realizing what happened. Look at the relief with which the primate takes a breath. He clearly understands that the threat he's phrasing. But still, reaction speed and luck were on his side. There are skirmishes between different species of primates. Baboons and chimpanzees did not share the food here. Although these primates seem similar, they are actually very different anatomically. Maboons are tailed primates that usually move on four legs, but can sometimes walk on two. They have powerful fangs, they are aggressive and dangerous. Chimpanzees tend to use tools and forelimbs as hands rather than paws for walking. They are massive and violent, but they are also more timid. As you can see, the skirmish demonstrates all the qualities of the enemy. The baboon tries to intimidate the chimpanzee, but does not know who he is messing with. Although the more timid primate retreats at first, immediately after that it turns around and tries to counterattack. No one wants to get hit by its powerful claws, and even less a massive monkey. Opponents maneuver, spin in battle, and deliver occasional rare blows. They do not try to clinch, but instead rush past each other to hit on the run and disappear into the thicket. And so, several times. It looks pretty epic, doesn't it? Who are you rooting for in this confrontation? This cobra probably did not expect that her hood would cause the macaque not a panic attack, but a lively interest. Instead of retreating in fear, the monkey took the snake's defensive stance more like a riddle that needed to be solved. Some predator would run away simply because the danger and the amount of effort spent fighting such a dangerous opponent are too high relative to the reward in case of victory. This is the basis of the snake's tactics. If the opponent is small, he becomes prey. If it is big and strong, then it is worth getting up and straightening the hood, as the enemy will retreat. Why would a leopard risk losing his life from a single cobra bite if, if he wins, she won't be able to satiate him even for half a day? But the makake is clearly guided by other motives. Her stubborn desire to defeat the snake is not even dictated by predatory instincts or hunger. This primate species feeds on plant food. The makake is driven by her curiosity. Perhaps she doesn't realize how serious the opponent in front of her is. Do you think that she's being stupid? Only if the primate had lost. But instead, the makake somehow avoids every throw, dodging the cobra's teeth when they flash next to the skin. And at the same time, the primate constantly revolves around the enemy that it is fighting with. Yes, the makake spends a lot of energy, but confuses the enemy and unnerves him. And the cobra didn't know who she was messing with. The jumping monkey jumps almost over the opponent's head several times. The snake should get away and not return to the habitat of this annoying primate. Madagascar is relatively close to the coast of Africa, but the fauna of this island is unique and very different from what we can be seen on the Black Continent. For example, lemurs live here. Although it's hard to believe, these strange-tailed creatures are primates and relatives of chimpanzees and orangutans so unlike them. Their strange dancing and unusual behavior attracted the attention of both local residents and people in different parts of the world. For the culture of the people of Madagascar, the lemur is a very important animal. There are several species of lemurs, but most of them have one thing in common. They are excellent jumpers. Just look at how people literally fly up to the hands of people who want to treat them to something. Would you like to have such a pet? How do you guys think about keeping lemurs as pets? Let us know your opinions in the comments. In Madagascar lives the fossa, a rare predator, which although it looks like a cat, according to many scientists, is a relative of a weasel or ermine although it reaches simply gigantic in comparison with other weaver dimensions. The weight of the fossa is about the same as that of a terrier. By the way, if you would like to more learn about the strange and rare predators, then write about it. The flexible and strong fossa climbs to the lemur in the highest branches. 
The primate has almost no chance. When suddenly he rushes down, but not in a fall, but in a dizzying leap. The lemur literally jumps to another tree, covering a distance comparable to the width of a city street. The fossil will not come close to such a result in terms of the length of the jump. The lemur jumped from the height of the fourth floor. He takes risks, but effectively slows down and directs his fall with the help of his tail. Pay attention, the primate turns it like a propeller. It seems that he is violating the laws of physics. The fossa is surprised, but for the lemur, such a desperate and incredible leap was the only way to escape. Tailed monkeys, although they cannot boast of great strength, like gorillas or orangutans, have no less courage. Just look at the reaction of this macaque to a large cobra. The primate liked the box from which the snake crawls out. The cobra has already straightened its hood. She feels threatened and behaves aggressively, but the macaque doesn't care. The primate grabs the snake right by the collar and throws it away from the box. The snake is surprised by such impudence. She lifts herself up, but only so that the macaque can also take her tail out of the box, which the animal disliked so much. The cobra attacks, but the primate dodges, although it is on a chain. And when the box bothers the macaque, she calmly goes about her business under the watchful and unkind gaze of the cobra. Of course, the reptile snaps, but it does not bite into the enemy with its venomous fangs. It's hard to say where the reptile's patience comes from. Perhaps she just appreciated that the macaque was too big to swallow, and as an enemy, it was just not dangerous. Just annoying, but not strong enough to waste precious poison on it. What do you think? Let us know in the comments. Gorillas live in dense, humid forests where lions or hyenas are not found. The only major predator of this region is the leather. But this lone cat cannot resist the gorillas, who group into large clans and protect each other. But there, gorillas shouldn't have thought they were safe in their territory. They didn't know who they were messing with when they noticed that chimpanzees were getting in there. Relatively recently, wildlife researchers have learned that in recent decades, a real war has been unfolding between these rather close primate species. Packs of chimpanzees attack gorillas, hunt down lonely individuals, or even attack small families, uniting for this purpose in real shock troops. Brutal interspecies conflicts are especially common in the Congo. But due to the great impassibility of wet forests, the danger to researchers and the remoteness of battle sites, there are few video and photo evidence that should show the tactics and results of such battles. A gorilla is much stronger than a single chimpanzee. This giant monkey can reach a weight of one-fifth of a ton. One blow can break a leopard's spine or bring down a horse. Gorilla fights look impressive. These giants deal crushing blows to each other, ram the enemy, and occasionally bite with powerful jaws. An adult gorilla can literally throw away a young individual like a rat. It seems that chimpanzees have no chance against such an opponent. But chimpanzees don't actually attack honestly one-on-one. -on -one. Chimpanzees can put up three or four individuals against each gorilla. Also, although these monkeys are much smaller than the giant gorillas, do not underestimate their strength. A chimpanzee is capable of uprooting a young tree. Can you imagine what happens if this aggressive scumbag grabs a gorilla's paw and starts spinning around on its axis? In addition, chimpanzees actively use weapons during their battles with gorillas, and of course the most primitive, smaller primates occupy an advantageous tactical position at a height under the covers of the trees, after which they throw stones accurately at the enemy, aiming at the head and vulnerable sensitive parts. Chimpanzees can also beat with sticks. Gorillas have to fight back and retreat. A run-in with much more aggressive and violent chimpanzees can end fatally for the giants. Moreover, gorillas are vegetarians, 
whereas chimpanzees are omnivorous primates who could hunt baby gorillas like for lunch. Who are you rooting for in this epic confrontation? Let us know in the comments. The lioness decided to have a snack with a baboon, but underestimated its opponent. The primate coped with the first panic and then turned around and showed the cat who was the coolest fighter here. Despite the superiority of the predator in mass and strength, the monkey turned out to be a very fierce and dangerous opponent, armed with unexpectedly long fangs. Now the primates began to chase the lioness, who did not expect such a turn of events. And although the cat usually wins in such cases, an experienced predator will not mess with baboons if there is any alternative to the role of lunch. Because in battle, a baboon can cause injuries that will interfere with future hunts. Orangutans are vegetarians. Only this does not make them defenseless. When an impudent macaque decided to steal a banana right out of the mouth of a huge red monkey, she was immediately taught a lesson. You shouldn't do that. At least if you want to stay with your head. In one sharp movement, the orangutan literally pressed the cheeky macaque into the floor, after which he held her in the position, pressing on her spine and neck. It will be an unforgettable lesson for her and her relatives. But if you think that orangutans are strong fighters only against smaller creatures, then you're mistaken. This is one of the most touching and at the same time cool videos featuring monkeys that have ever been filmed. Multi-ton construction machinery is engaged in cutting down ancient jungles that were home to thousands of species of living creatures. The terrible destruction is accompanied by such noise, stench, and terrible destruction that all the animals fled into the depths of the thicket long before all the trees in the area were ever cut down. But he remained, a lone fighter who decided to go out on a hopeless fight. The primate is not only afraid of the huge excavator, but also attacks it. Pay attention here. He does not run around and does not try to harm people. He doesn't attack people even though they took his house. Instead, the monkey went into a hopeless battle with a multi-ton technique and began to beat it with a chance of success. Against the background of a huge car, the animal looks so small, and the cooler its courage. The orangutan was not scared by any noise or attempts to scare him away and drive him into the forest to safety. He went out to fight back against the monster that took his house away from him, even without hope of success. Probably, the animal simply could not do otherwise. Orangutans are almost the smartest animals on the planet. Their intelligence is on par with chimpanzees and elephants. He probably understands what's going on, that a solid hulk cannot be stopped by such blows, that she herself can sweep it away at any moment but the primate stubbornly stands in its place. He doesn't even maneuver. He doesn't run around. He just stands there as if protesting against the disruption of the most beautiful forests in which he has lived. We should listen to this signal from nature and not just talk about how to preserve it, but take concrete actions to do so. What do you think about this? Let us know your opinion in the comments. In general, orangutans can surprise. These people did not know who they were messing with, and therefore they were close to panic when, during a walk in the forest, a huge male orangutan came out into the road before them. Even with its front paws on the ground, this monkey was only slightly shorter than an adult. The strength of the giant's limbs is enormous, and orangutan could break the spine of a young horse with one blow. But the primate greatly surprised people when he began to behave like a good-natured neighbor. Look at how intelligently he walks along this path. In the world of wildlife, such peacefulness and patience are even more surprising than the fierce attack of small predators on big game. As a result, the orangutan posed for photographers for a while and then went about his business. He's like a kind uncle or a nice neighbor who came out to say hello and then went out for a walk. 
It seems that he is deliberately trying to behave as calmly as possible so as not to provoke people. However, this does not mean that all primates of this species are pacifists. They can be aggressive and literally explode with a thirst for violence, unexpectedly attacking those who have offended them with something. Therefore, you should be careful with an orangutan as well as with any wild animal. And how would you react if you met a wild orangutan in the forest? This battle scene it looks a bit comical. A whole flock of otters came out of the water and tried to push the orangutan away. But it's funny only from a long distance. Otters are pretty cool predators who can work their jaws together and attack a larger opponent with incredible dexterity. However, they did not know who they were messing with in this specific situation. With his long arms, the orangutan not only threatens the otters and drives them away, but also prepares for more drastic measures if the enemies come closer. With one blow, this red monkey is able to drive an otter into the ground or break its neck. But the main thing is that the orangutans can use weapons. This monkey holds only a thin branch, and the otters are lucky in this. The primate has enough strength to beat opponents with a steel club, if it were at hand. As it is, the primate forces opponents to keep their distance with light blows. And he's doing pretty well. The tiger is a powerful and dangerous predator that feels like a master in any quarter of its territory. Is there anything that can drive this beast from the place that he chose to rest? It turned out, yes indeed. Suddenly, the young tigers began to get bored with the gibbon. The primate descended from the branches to touch the tiger, slap its striped hide, and then just instantly return to a safe height before the predator were to grab it. Pretty strange behavior, isn't it? Gibbons against a tiger are absolutely defenseless when it comes to a direct collision. They're lighter and weaker even than a young individual by three times. They have no claws, no fangs, no bloodlust or fighting skills. But gibbons are smart. They understand that if there are young tiger cubs here, then an adult will soon come. Primates can't feel safe around this striped family. Monkeys do not need such a neighborhood, and the gibbon decided to use the only trump card it had, its dexterity. Monkeys are really very fast, but is this game really worth the danger? When the situation drags on, it becomes clear. This is not a game, but an attack. The tigers are in shock. They were attacked by a primate that could have been crushed with a single blow of its paw. The young predatory cat is surprised, because the gibbon attack is doomed to fail. He will not be able to cause even such a young tiger any real harm. But monkeys don't always try to do this. In some cases, cunning primates attack a tiger not in order to defeat it, but in order to make it lose its temper. The ability to get bored is also kind of a weapon. After all, it's not for nothing that Star Wars fans hate Jar Jar Binks more than Emperor Palpatine. Incredibly agile primates fly at lightning speed at a lying tiger and then just bother him. The predator jumps up, but for all its feline agility and grace, it does not really keep up with its enemy. In addition, his superiority in mass turned into a disadvantage for the tiger. With such a weight, the cat will not be able to climb such thin branches on which gibbons jump and jump. The second tiger also gets a share of the gibbons' attention and can do nothing with such an unexpectedly agile opponent. They are completely safe here. If they had caught a clever opponent, they would have been able to deal with him. But the gibbon is elusive. He even goes down to the ground to tease the enemy, but then he soars up into the branches once again. And also, it deftly flies from one tree to another, chasing tigers who want to move to another place nearby just to lie down peacefully. Of course, going down to the enemy, gibbons take a lot of risks, because every time the tiger's claws flash close to the primate's skin, a little more and he would be taken off the branch, clung to with fangs, strangled in a matter of seconds. 
but the gibbons avoid the blows and quickly retreat. As soon as the tiger lies down, it is attacked again. This happens so often that the cat just cannot stand it. But that was the Gibbons' plan. They knew that they would not be able to defeat a potential enemy, so they just wanted to annoy him, annoy him, and show that there would be no rest in this place. Most likely, the primates decided on a preemptive strike since there was a den with cubs nearby. It is better to scare off a potential enemy in advance, while it has been noticed, than to flee from an attacking tiger with very slim chances of success. Gibbons were more obtrusive, annoying, and nasty than the donkey from Shrek, and this helped them drive the tigers out. The striped predator just didn't know who it was messing with. The leopard is one of the few large predators that are able to chase primates even in the canopy of trees. But this spotted cat clearly underestimated its prey. As soon as the leopard tries to climb one large branch to climb up to the primate, he immediately jumps to the other half of the crown. And so several times. Are you dizzy? It looks like the leopard is too. It's easier for him to retreat and find easier prey than chasing after this tireless monkey. Baboons are cruel animals that can attack an enemy in a pack. And they can also deliver lightning strikes and immediately retreat, inflict serious damage to the victim so that she could not actively move, and then finish her off after that. All these techniques are used by flocks of baboons not only for tough resistance to predators, the fact is that these primates are omnivorous. The meat part of the diet is adjacent to vegetable food in their menu, which these gazelles clearly did not suspect when they allowed themselves to be surrounded by monkeys. The ungulates realized too late that they were not peaceful, herbivorous neighbors, but dangerous hunters. Of course, the mother gazelle tried to protect her offspring and run out of the ring with the baby. But some baboons were in the trees, others were waiting in ambush. They are not the best hunters, but aggression allows them to seize the initiative. As a result, one of the more experienced baboons beat off a baby gazelle and was able to grab it by the spine with its terrible jaws. The spinal injuries are critical. The victim no longer has a chance to escape. The monkey realizes that the enraged mother will chase her, so he grabs his prey and runs. The monkeys can only wait until the gazelle leaves, and they can start eating right then. It is usually extremely difficult to catch birds, even for experienced predators who are good at sneaking up and walking silently. At the slightest threat, the feathered bird rises to the wing and turns out to be safe. But these flamingos did not expect such a fierce and swift attack from an ordinary baboon. Probably, monkeys do not hunt as often as they eat plant food, so they are not perceived as a threat. And this is a mistake. The baboon took advantage of the surprise effect by 100%, and the beast rushed straight into the water and chased the birds. Flamingos are quite massive, so they need to make several strong flaps of their wings to climb. In addition, in a very large flock, birds slow down each other a little bit. This was enough for the baboon to grab the young bird. The monkey brutally grabbed the flamingo by the wings, breaking them so that the prey would not get out at all. And then he grabs with powerful fangs, not by the throat and to the beak, but by the base of the neck. Pay attention. The primate, just in case, expects a blow from the back and is ready to repel the attack of birds if they want to repel their own. And only when the monkey realizes that he is safe, he finishes off the prey. Lions quite often hunt baboons. Primates usually fight back with dignity, but still cannot compete with huge predators. Monkeys have to run away or hide in the treetops. Even from a great height, a single-minded lioness is able to get such prey. Maybe she doesn't expect such a fierce rebuff, but the forces are too unequal. 
Even after receiving several blows to the muzzle, the lioness gets her own and squeezes the baboon's throat with her powerful fangs. At best, there will be a tree nearby. If the baboon can climb the tallest and thinnest branches, he has a chance to survive simply because the lioness weighs too much to climb up so high. It seems that lionesses often underestimate the agility of monkeys when chasing them and climbing trees. Predatory cats stop a few steps before prey as they realize that just a little bit more and the tree will just break off, after which the cat will have a painful flight down. And the baboon can only wait for the enemy to leave. In cases where the lioness was able to get close enough, but there was no way to hide in a tree, the baboon's chances of salvation drop to almost zero. And this strange case was all the more surprising. Researchers filmed how a lion cub appeared in the paws of a baboon on a tree. Immediately, there were suggestions that the primate had found a wildcat's lair and ravaged it to get revenge, or at least to have lunch. But then the researchers noticed the strange behavior of the primate. The baboon does not show any aggression towards the lion cub whatsoever. And even more than that, the monkey seems to take care of the baby. The baboon combs the parasites out of its fur, stroking them as if it's trying to calm a kitten. I wonder what the lioness would think if she saw this unusual picture in front of her. The problem is that the baboon cannot fully take care of the lion cub, feed it with suitable food, and provide for its other needs. The only chance for this baby to survive is to escape from the primates and reunite with his mother. But it's unlikely that the baboon understands this. And what do you think is the reason for this strange behavior of the primate? And also don't forget to write in the comment section under this video which primate case today made the strongest impression on you. We are interested to know your opinion. Subscribe to our channel to learn even more interesting things about the world of wildlife.